Hey angels, it's Lookin' Brett, aka Dom. I hope y'all are doing well. Before we get into today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and let's get into the video. So I went to Walmart and Target today, and last night I went to the city to do the Holiday at Play event. So I wanted to show y'all what I purchased when I was in the city because I saw this booth there and I honestly thought they weren't gonna show up on shelves just cause I heard there might be some legal things going on, but I decided to buy it because I saw it at Walgreens and I was like, oh, like this is odd. And there hasn't really been like a release date announced, I think. I really don't keep up fully with the brand, but I did find one of the My Avastars or Avastar, sorry. <laughs> Avastars makes more sense, but I keep thinking Avastars. And I got Trekkie O, which I guess is a play on Jackie O. And I did already open her. I opened her at my friend Josh's apartment, and I was with Brooke, aka X Canadensis, and a few other friends, Nikki, who goes under Sweetest Dolls on YouTube, and also my friend Emil, who goes under Brad's The World on YouTube, and then my other friend, Frank, who doesn't have a YouTube, but he is on Twitter, aka Bimbo Nevra, and he also shares an account with Emil on Instagram, which is also Brad's The World. Sorry, I'm plugging all my friends. <laughs> I did open her and I put her together. She's pretty cute. I wasn't really sure how to feel about these. I thought they were cute when I first saw them, but I put her together. I put some of her stickers on. So yeah, this is Trekkie O from the Avastars line. And she comes with stickers and a sticker sheet, which also sort of doubles as a poster, like a little mini poster. And then you can put the stickers in the back for storage. That's all I can really say. I think she's cute. I really do wish her hair was a bit more purple, like her box artwork. So that's my one quip with this doll. But she's pretty cute. I'm glad I picked one up. I don't know. Some people are finding them at Walmart, but I don't know. If you're really into them, I would pick them up sooner rather than later, just in case. That is my Avastars. And also at that Walgreens, I found a cute little Tokidoki unicorn, like ice cream sundae plush. So of course I picked it up because I do love Tokidoki. And I don't know if it has a name, but it is very cute. So yeah. I have some Tokidoki plushes and I also have some little like stationery and other licensed merch, I guess. So that's my little Tokidoki plush. Something that I got in the mail, I believe on Friday or maybe, yeah, I would say, you know, this was Thursday night. Sorry, I'm getting my days mixed up because I took off from work to go to the event, but <laughs> I got a Betty Spaghetti Mix and Minis Betty set and this is so cute. Look at this. I've never really seen the mini Bettys like on the market. I'm gonna open this, gonna be honest. It's already kind of coming off of its place card. And here I am just ripping it open. <laughs> yeah, it comes with some little bracelets and hair accessories. And if you've seen a few of my videos before this, you'll see that I have been in a little bit of a Betty Spaghetti mood. I don't know what it was. Somebody I follow on Twitter, his name is Boys Like Dolls post a bit about Betty and I was sort of feeling the vibes of like, you know, I didn't get to have a lot of Betty spaghetti as a kid, not for any particular reason, just that, you know, she wasn't really on shelves much by the time I was really into dolls and then she rebooted and I did have one of the reboot dolls from around like 2007, I would say. I'm having a hard time getting some of these pieces out. And yeah, I, I really just was thinking like, oh, like I would love to have more Betty Spaghetti's from that particular era. So I've been, you know, looking here and there and I finally budged and I bought a few and I bought this little mini Betty because I thought she was super cute. And look at how cute this little playset is. And one of the door handles broke off to the closet, but I'll just glue it back on. And there's a little mini Betty doll inside and it says fashion shop. This, I believe, is from 2003. She's actually really cute. Is the hair sticky? Oh, the hair's not sticky. 
which is surprising because all the Bettys that I've been buying, the hair, I guess it's the type of material or plastic that they're using, it tends to get sticky over time. This mini Betty is so cute. Like this would be so perfect to carry around with you or like have a little doll or something on you if you want it. The funny thing with the Betty is it's like because everything is removable, like all the limbs and the head and everything, <laughs> I feel like they just tend to fall apart on me. And there's like a little, it looks like it's supposed to be a drawer. Oh, it is, okay. There's a little drawer here and you can put all the little accessories in it, which I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll put something on the hanger because it comes with little hangers and then you can put something, I actually like this top better. And something I never really saw often with Betty's was like fabric clothing. So I am going to put this fabric skirt on her because it looks cute. It's giving me like Little Bratz vibes which is maybe what they were going for, or sort of like a Polly Pocket vibe, because those were pretty hot at the time, in like 2003, especially Fashion Polly. One of her little pieces on her hanger, and I can put it in here and hang it. That's such a cute little detail. Oh, and then she has a pair of shorts here that I need to get out. <laughs> and then I can also put the pair of shorts on the hanger and also hang that as well. That is super cute. I'm a little sad the handle broke off. I mean, it's probably an easy fix. I'll just put some super glue on it, but I just wish it didn't break off. The fabric purse. Now this purse actually gives me Little Bratz vibes. I've seen a lot of Little Bratz with very similar purses. Maybe it's just a style from that era that's popular, but I will put it on her a little bag. She's wearing it like a little satchel. So cute, and I also have a big Betty for reference. So this is the uh, Betty's Closet Betty, and this is a mix and mini Betty. So there's a very, very big size difference here. I have another Betty Spaghetti set here, and this is what I'm referring to when I mean reboot, was in the late 2000s, they rebooted Betty, and she's actually taller, and she has a bit of a bigger head. I feel like this is the Bratzified Betty. And these were still made by Ohio Art. Yes, they were. This is 2007. That sounds about right. And this is the Color Crazy Betty set. And it still has the KB Toys sticker. KB Toys sticker on it, retailed for 20 bucks. And then it ended up at Goodwill for $5.49. There's a Goodwill sticker on it. And I got it for only $12.99. So I was like, let me snatch this up because I saw it on eBay and then I just watched it. Like I put a heart on it. And a lot of the time sellers will send you offers, which is pretty cool. And let me just put Betty away in her little closet. I love this case. This is so adorable. I wish more doll brands had fun play sets like this. This is very cute. I love this. I'm keeping the back because that is very nostalgic. But yeah, I do feel like Betty was like bratsified and it didn't last super long. It lasted like maybe a year or two I, from what I remember. Maybe it lasted longer and I don't realize. I used to have one of these. It was like a single pack Betty and she had like a pink top. If I find a picture, maybe I'll post it here somewhere. I'm starting to film videos on my phone, so I don't fully know how to do that on the iMovie, but I can find it. And I had the Betty version, and I don't know if her name was Hannah in the set, but it was the same exact outfit, just with like a skin tone change and a hair color change. And it just said Betty Spaghetti from what I remember, but it could have been Hannah, potentially. I don't know if they really had a different characters during this era, or if it was just meant to be like Betty. Like, it's just Betty. And I remember, oh, and she has real hair. And it feels like poly hair, like polypropylene hair. But that is unfortunate. But I'm also not shocked. Oh, I almost cut myself on the sides of this. But these are very cute. This one has the regular hair. It doesn't feel sticky, so that's pretty good. Let's see if I can. Oh, I snatched her head out. Her head's a little sticky, but the hair is okay. I'm afraid the hair is going to like try to stick to the head, so maybe I'll try to find a way to get rid of that stickiness. Yeah, this was the Betty era that I was present for. And I remember on the Home Shopping Network or something like that, 
they were like doing Betty Spaghetti sets on there. And I really wanted one. I think I may have asked my mom to get me one, but obviously I didn't get it, which was fine. Like I'm sure I asked for a million other things and I forgot about the Betty set. Yeah, these are like super duper tall and their feet, they have like real feet, which is kind of, they look funny. They remind me of uh, La Cienaga from, or La, La they remind me of La Cienaga, La Cienaga, La Valenciaga from, <laughs> from the Proud family when she like takes off her shoes and it's like these huge feet. Um, very like brats like. <laughs> the original buddies, they have like, almost like the brats mechanism where you get to like put the feet on like a full like peg. And she has a real denim skirt. I don't like how this bothers me. Okay, she has a really weird shaped torso. Like it's her underwear and then it's her legs. And then she has a skirt, but it's like barely covering her like undies that bugs me. <laughs> There's like little bracelets. Maybe hair accessories here. And then there's more beads here, which I guess to make some sort of like friendship bracelet, maybe in the hair, you know? Yeah, that's cute. I like that. And why I say friendship bracelet is because it's beads with letters on them. Like when you make a friendship bracelet. I'm trying to open them. Is her head sticky? Okay. The second one, oh, her head doesn't feel sticky. So that's pretty good, because obviously I'm having a lot of issues with sticky heads <laughs> for this brand. And it's just probably the plastics over time just sort of wearing down. And I've had the same issue with a lot of Barbies, especially a lot with like those rubbery bodies in the 2000s. They just get sticky over time. I guess maybe the, I don't know if the materials are like if they're in heat or something, or if something's like breaking down. I, I don't fully understand it. I love this rainbow haired one. She's very cute. And I have another Betty from this era. I don't have the originals that I got as a kid, the two I was describing with the pink tops, but I do have a styling head and I only bought it because I had never seen it before and I thought it was interesting. But I never took it out of the box. It's in my closet somewhere, but it's a Betty Spaghetti head and it's from this era with this face, but it's almost like a head games, like a little styling head. And it has real hair on it, but I just never opened it. And I don't know if I ever will open it. Only because now I'm thinking it might have polypropylene hair and I'd rather just not deal with it. She has a little... <laughs> girl is going to pride. I swear this is a flag and I don't know what flag that is. Is that the pansexual flag? I don't know. Also, that Avastars does have the pansexual flag on her outfit. Is it the same colors? Oh, very similar colors. Yeah. They're representing the pansexuals. I don't know if this was like a friendship bracelet or something, but there's a charm here. It's a rainbow charm. But there's like a little compartment here for something and I don't know what it was. And it looks like it's not in the package. I love the, oh, there's more stuff in the box. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, there's um, little butterfly clips. And there's more of like that friendship bracelet beads with the letters on them. And there is a string, so maybe you can make more like custom hairstyles or maybe make a bracelet out of something. And there's very cute stickers in here. These look like they're for the pockets of the pants. There's one with a little bit of a rainbow on it and there's one with a moon. And there's some stickers with some stars. That's actually very cute. I love the back of the box. I do tend to keep the backs of the boxes if you didn't know that already. I have like a big bin where I just hoard them all from like different dolls and different doll lines. I just think I just want to preserve them sometimes <laughs> or like different parts of the boxes. This has that country house font that you might recognize from my video thumbnails and also from the Bratz dolls. It's such a cute, so cute. I love that. 
I don't know how well received the reboot was, like the first reboot for Betty Spaghetti, but I really do like them. I think the one thing that really lacks for it though, oh, and these, she's very different. So she has her pants and they're like long pants. It's very rubbery. And then her shoes are more like a regular like peg, regular like peg. The construction of the dolls are very interesting. I hate when there's like garbage everywhere. It just bugs me. But yeah, more Bettys to add to the collection. Let me, I'm trying to find her other arm and her other shoe. It's just like somewhere here. What I don't really like is that it's like, they both look like Betty and I think they both are Betty. I don't know if the, I have to look into it. If the Betty Spaghetti reboot had different distinct characters like Zoe, Hannah, Okay, I can't find her shoe, and I also am struggling to find all the earrings that they came with. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but yeah, these are the two Bettys. Their things just keep falling apart. That's gonna bug me. But just for scale reference, this is 2007 Betty, and this is like original Betty. So she got tall, and her face changed. But yeah, that was my little Betty spaghetti sets that I bought. And I decided to unbox them thinking that it would help ease the pain of having to unbox dolls, but it's only helping a little bit, but I did get more dolls. This is what bothers me. Look at where they put the clearance sticker on her face. This isn't even a bad batch, Roxy. Like, I can tell she's gorgeous. <laughs> but they put it right on her face. Like, who thought that was a good idea? So I decided to go to Target and Walmart. I'm gonna show you the Target stuff first because it's not as exciting as the Walmart stuff because the Walmart stuff is new and it's stuff that I really wanted for a bit. I'm super excited to have it. But yeah, I did get the rest of Rock Angels. I found them on clearance, so I figured I may as well just buy them. I was supposed to get them sent to me, but I'm at the point where it's been almost a year since that launch happened. That happened October 1st, and obviously things were rough in the process of them releasing it, so I decided I'm just gonna buy them, and if they decide to send another set, that would be great, because I would love a set to restyle and to do more photo shoots with, but for now, I, I'm just gonna have my set. One week later. I did get Yasmin recently, which you may have seen in a video, and Yasmin looks super good. I love her. Yasmin was the one I really wanted, but I really did want Sasha and Roxy a lot. I bought Chloe. I might have to put her in her first outfit now to make her match the other girls, but I got Chloe a long time ago now. I got her back in March, and that was when the new batches started to come out. So I saw her, and I was like, you know what? Let me treat myself and get one. Of course, all the Rock Angels come with a poster, and it just has the Rock Angels artwork on it. This particular Target had a lot of brats. They had a lot of the 20th anniversary dolls, and they had quite a lot of the Rock Angels dolls. Not as much as this other Target that's local, but I have to Uber two places or take the bus two places because my car is being repaired at the moment. So it's been a big damper on going to stores, which also beneficial because I don't have to spend money at the stores, but I do have to spend money to get on the bus and to do all that stuff and to get an Uber if I need to. I just find it really upsetting that I don't, I don't want to sound like mean or anything or rude because I understand like it was a rough release and it was probably difficult to finally get them on shelves, especially when these were supposed to launch October 1st, and we didn't get to even see the dolls. Oh, I don't like her hair that much. Like, it's okay, I just, oh, I don't like the crimped nylon. And you know, we saw Sashi and Ro Sashi and Roxa. Roxy and Sasha. <laughs> we saw Roxy and Sasha, and they looked rough. Like, we can be honest about it, the dolls were rough. A lot of people weren't happy. I wasn't really happy with it. I was just reporting the news. And it's because they had used the UV printing method, which they only started using first with that line, and they used it for Felicia, and they used it for 
Um, they're collector dolls, so they used it on the Pride dolls, they used it on the GCDS dolls. I don't know if they're gonna keep using it in the future. I'm, I think they got it right with the second batch. Like, facially, she's very, very good. And I also think the construction of all of her, the outfits and everything else looks amazing. But there was like no marketing for this. And all the marketing that they did involved the first batches and they were like putting sunglasses on them, I guess, to sort of rectify the situation. But I wish they had done new content. I wish they had done more for this release because it really could have been an exciting reproduction line. And I don't think they really did, they didn't do much to promote it at that point. And they put it on shelves, like it made it to shelves. And the new batches, they look stunning. Like this looks gorgeous. This looks like a, like an original Bratz doll to me. I mean, the head is different. It's a modified sculpt because they had to make room for the face <laughs> for the UV printing. But now they're on clearance and I don't know why in my head I thought, oh, they still have time to get these dolls on shelves and promote them, but now we're on to GNL, potentially if GNL makes it to shelves. I don't know any information on that, so please don't ask me. I'm happy to have them now. Like, I really wanted the Rock Angels. I never really had a Rock Angels doll. Before this, I've only seen them and gotten them secondhand. I've only had pieces here and there. I really just wanted a full set. And this re-release, I think, actually satisfies that craving. Like, I don't think I need the originals. And if I do get the originals at some point, that's great. But I don't expect much more promotion for these, if not any promotion. Because now they're on clearance at Target, they're $18.49, so if you want a Rock Angels doll and you're in the U.S., this might be your last chance to get the reproductions. And now we have Sasha. She's also very stunning. They also had the wonky face Sasha. I'm excited to see all these next to each other. Like, I've only, I've obviously just bought them like one at a time. Like I had Chloe by herself for a long time. I just bought Yasmin. I wish I had waited a little bit just because Yasmin basically went on clearance the week after or like two weeks after I bought her. But I guess it was about time. Like they've been kind of just on shelves and nobody's really been buying them. The dolls are really cute. Like they, they did a good job on these second batches, I will say. I just wish they had done more to promote them. When I first was under the impression that I was receiving the dolls in PR, and I did get some dolls in PR, but you'll see in another video coming up where I explain a little bit <laughs> what happened. I got sent the wrong dolls for the Rock Angels, and I got the, I got the wrong, it was like back in July, it was July, and I got the wrong dolls in the box, and they never like sent out the right dolls, so. It's whatever, I have them all now. I would love a second set though, like, she looks a little funny with her hair back like that. So when I fix her up, she'll look good. Yeah, she has a better face than her first batch from back in October of last year. And the final one is Jade, and her face isn't my favorite. I was looking through all the Jades, there were quite a few options. And this is the best one I could find. And at this point, I'm ripping dolls out of boxes. I'm tired. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> She's out of the box. This is Jade. She looks pretty good. She's definitely passable. Definitely one of the better Jades I've seen. Jade, I think, has had it the worst. And also at Target, I found another Naturalista. This one is Paige. So now I have three Naturalistas. They had a few of her, they didn't have any of the other ones. And they also had the Culture Ball Awards fashion pack. I did leave that for now. I might get it at another point, but I was trying to get more just dolls this time around. I really love the Naturalistas. She has pink heels, so she doesn't have uh, skin tone heels. And here is Paige. She still has a piece of thread in her hair, but yes, Miss Paige. She is so stunning. I really, I love the Naturalistas line. I'm so excited and I hope they do more in the future. Definitely one of the best dolls like in that price range on the market. These are only $12.99. Only $12.99, limited articulation, but again, I said this in another video, 
not a lot of dolls doing this in this price range. They also come with, with purses. They come with really cute basic pieces, but they're not like basic basic. Like they're just, you know, I love her. So yeah, now we have Paige. There's only a few more in the first wave and I haven't seen these at like Walmart or anything. Oh, she does have some like movement here. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's some coming to Walmart. There's some Walmart exclusives. I don't fully know, but they are hitting shelves. So make sure to look out for them. And if you're you know, craving like a Barbie scale doll and you don't want to buy Barbie because I don't blame you because sometimes Barbie's quality is not the best. There's always natural leases now and they do have great hair. They, I think it is saran hair when I feel it. So that's really exciting. Uh, it's only $12.99. And this is a non-doll purchase. I did get the little Squishmallows. And I think this is a set of four. It looks like they're food themes. So there's a little taco and there's a burger in there. I've been wanting the little Squishmallows and um, I saw some at Walmart back in July and I almost bought the set, but it was really expensive. But there's this like set of four. Oh, and it looks like the other two. I don't know what this is. Is this an onion? There's little french fries. These are the two mystery ones. And then there's the taco. And there is the burger. So that's a really cute set from Squishmallows. I hope I find some more like maybe non-food ones, like more of the animals. And I think this might be the more exciting purchase. And I went to Walmart and it was a little crazy. It was packed in there. I was getting a little anxious and I went to the doll section and I was hoping to maybe, maybe find Monster High stuff. I didn't. Disclaimer. It was disappointing. But Tiara Song from the Rainbow Vision K-pop group. And I wanted her, like the moment I saw her doll, I was obsessed and I was like, she's the best one. In my eyes, she's the best one. She's from the Royal Three. And the other two were there. They just really had bad faces. I did find a tiara with a pretty good face, so that's okay with me. And these were like not in the Rainbow High section. These were like a few aisles down, I think, because the Rainbow High and LOL and the doll section itself was like just, there's not enough space on the shelf, so maybe they just moved things around. And I also found, I found her Lola Wild from the Shadow High slash Rainbow High costume ball and when I saw her she was my favorite and I'm so excited she is so stunning this is the only one on shelves and I took a quick look at her face and I was like this is good enough for me and it is really good like I have to say I love her she's so stunning I kind of don't want to take her out of the box like that's how much I love her like she looks like so good in the box it looks like a very like collector type display yeah oh i'm like kind of like oh i just don't want to like have to like redo her hair because her hair looks stunning but i know with like in the factories like they tend to like mess up the hair a little bit when making it but it's whatever okay i think i'm going to unbox her because realistically i don't know where i'm going to display her in the box especially when there's a flap here. But the box is so cool. Mm. I'm gonna open her. She's a cosmetology focus, I love that. I also saw her, her name is slipping my mind right now, but her face did not look good, so I did leave her. And I also saw the RH, the Rainbow High Girls, from this line. I didn't pick them up. I don't know if I want them all yet. I kinda want Bella, but I'm on the fence. Not a big fan of Violet, and Robin, I will say, is the best of the Rainbow High Girls, and she's very stunning, but I'm gonna hold off on her for now. I think I'd rather focus on getting the new characters coming out. Oh, there's a new MGA survey form. But yes, I'm going to focus on the newer characters for now, and then if I see them on sale at some point, or if I'm feeling like, you know, like, yeah, let me buy them, then I'll buy them. For now, I think I'm good. I'm also really loving the Shadow High dolls. And I've been enjoying the Shadow High a little bit more than Rainbow High lately. So I'm gonna support the Shadows for now. 
obviously support both lines, but you know, I want to get more Shadow High in my collection, especially because they are a newer line. And I do hope we get to see this line prosper because it is a very cool. Oh my goodness. This is insane. She's gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Uh, actually, her hair's not too bad out of the box. It's just a little. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it just needs a little fixing up. I don't like it when they like do like the any types of like ponytails or anything that requires elastic and then there's hair coming up out of it that really irks me. Look at her nails. Her nails. Are you kidding me? And she has rings. This is the same hand mold, I believe, as the Storm Twins, which is my other favorite release from Shadow Eye. She has these gorgeous Shadow High earrings. They say SH on them. Her makeup, stunning. And her outfit, like this is, I think, probably my favorite from the Costume Ball line overall. I'm trying to like snip off some of the sort of stray hairs. Maybe I'll like give it a little rinse to like really like bounce up the curls a bit. But she's really stunning. I really love her. I'm glad I got her. And I'm really not, I'm really not for buying MGA dolls at full price sometimes. Like I really love getting them on sale. But this is an exception and so is Tiara because they are stunning dolls. And then it comes with a little invite. It says, Shadow High, you are invited. The other side has a QR code. I'll scan this in a bit. I don't think it'll take you to anything, probably the website. And I know a lot of people have issues with it, and I get it. It is pretty steep for a doll that doesn't come with a second outfit, but it is a really well-made doll. And does this... No, the zipper doesn't work. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought the zipper worked for a second. But she has all these little details, and that's the thing with these dolls, is they always have very intricate details. And they always kind of outdo themselves, like, each time. And I think it's really... Oh, wow. I don't know when I'm going to get the other ones. I, never, I haven't seen the fairy yet. A lot of people haven't seen the fairy. But this one is gorgeous. And I knew as soon as I saw her, I knew she was my favorite. So I'm so super excited to have her. The box, I love it, but I don't know if I can keep it. Like, I just, I can't, can't do it. It's unfortunate. I just can't have too much waste. And I'm gonna open Tiara really quick so we can get a good look at her. She comes with second outfit and she also comes with a t-shirt. This was only $40 and I think it's pretty good for what you get, $40 is really good. I do like her second outfit. I might leave her in the first outfit, it actually does look really cool. And they all come with a Royal Three book. And if I get it out of the package, that'd be great. And the book is kind of like, um, I guess with K-pop, they have books like this. I don't really know, so please don't judge me. And there's a song called Spotlight and it has lyrics in it. It's like a little lyric book. And it has artwork in it that is super cute. And it has their signatures on the back. This is a very cute release. I do wish it was on the same scale as the other Rainbow Vision, the Neon Shadow and the Rainbow Divas release, but hey, it is what it is. And I don't have any of the other Rainbow Visions yet. Like, it's just, it's hard keeping up as a collector and having to like, it's a lot of money. Like, I don't think a lot of people realize like how much money it is to collect dolls and to sort of, some would be a completionist, but also like I legitimately want these dolls. I'm just scared if I wait too long for them to like go on sale, my excitement might die down. So I'm really happy to have a few of these now. Out of the new releases, I only have two. I only have Tiara and now I have Lola. But hopefully at some point I do get more of the newer Rainbow High dolls. I'm really behind on Rainbow High. I still need to get Shadow High Ainsley. Now I need to get the Costume Ball Shadow Highs. Series 2, I feel like, is about to come out. Um, Rainbow High, I still don't have Pacific Coast High, Simone, Finn, and Harper. Like, they're just not going on sale around me. 
and I don't have, I don't have quite a few. She's so stunning. She also has long nails. I love that. Not as long as the SH girls, yeah, no, but still long, and she's very gorgeous. Who else? I feel like I don't have a lot from Rainbow High. Um, there's been like so many Rainbow High releases and it's really hard to just keep track in my head. I finally did get the Rainbow Vision dolls and I, I that was the thing is like, you know, I felt a little underwhelmed once I finally had them. I really loved um, Carmen and I loved, um, not Lyric, I'm sorry. I didn't like Lyric very much. Lyric is hard to like look at, but I also loved Vanessa. This is stunning. She has real pockets. Of course she has real pockets because... MJ really knows how to make a doll. And there's also Mermaids and the new Mermaids Winter Waves and the, the fashion set I really want. But again, it's just the prices are really high. It's just, it's really, it's hard to keep up with and it's hard to keep excited about. And I hate to say that. And now between all that and then with Bratz and then Rainbow, not Rainbow High, well, Rainbow High, OMG, Bratz and Monster High is coming back, and you know, Shadow High and Mermaids, and I, I want all these dolls, but it's just hard. And then like to find the storage, to, like find, put them somewhere. It's it's getting to be very very difficult. But I do love her. She's very cute, and I do love Lola. These are gorgeous, stunning dolls. I'm remembering when Rainbow High used to come with uh, hangers. And they don't really anymore, so that's, it's always interesting when I open it. But I guess I'd rather sacrifice pieces of plastic for, like, other aspects of the doll. And, like, her shoes are, like, insane. Like, she has a fake chain around her fabric boot. It's a fabric boot. Like, are you kidding me? On a $40 doll. Like, oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I love her. I love her. I love her. Ah. You gotta be kidding me with these dolls. If you had shown me this level of attention to detail and quality and all that, like five years ago, I would say no. I've never seen that on the market again. But we, we're seeing it on the market and it just keeps progressively getting better from MGA and then progressively more expensive, I think, as a result. I would say it's worth it. Unfortunately, I have to say it's worth it. Do I wish they were cheaper? Of course. I'm sure everybody wishes they were cheaper, but like the dolls, the accessory packs, I can actually say no, those are, I can't pay $10 for those. But the dolls, hmm, that's another story. Like, are you, oh, is there multiple layers on this? Oh no, she doesn't have multiple layers. But the way they feel, it always feels like real clothes. Whereas with a lot of other doll brands, you're gonna get this, but you're gonna get this like on a printed piece of fabric. And for me, this is giving me, like, a high collector, like, level qual quality of dolls. I, what is what I'm trying to say. I was going to say, like, integrity, but I can't say it's the same as integrity. I'm not a full integrity collector. But from what I've seen, I really prefer, a lot of the times, like, Rainbow High and OMG over, like, integrity dolls. Just in terms of like actual like bringing quality pieces to the market. I don't like how she has metallic nylon. That's my one issue, but it's salvageable. And I do wish her hair was a little bit neater. Like I just wish the curls were a little bit more like tighter. But yeah, that's all I got. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure again to like, subscribe and comment. If you want to check out more haul videos, more reviews, more unboxings, make sure to check out my channel. Make sure to check me out on socials, at Brats on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all of that. And make sure to go to LookinBrats.com. That is LookinBrats with no G. And thank you again for watching. I hope y'all have a great day and night. I would love to hear from you. Like, what are you most excited for coming out this fall? Or what are you trying to get that's currently on the market? Are you trying to get a Rock Angels doll? Are you trying to get a Rainbow High doll? A Shadow High doll? Naturalistas? Are you like me and just trying to buy everything, everywhere, all at once? Please let me know. I would love to hear from you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.